Okay, so I haven't posted in the channel for a while, but I'm back. Sorry about that. I've been super active on Twitch and a lot has happened in the last year. I live in LA now and it's really, really cool. And I hope to bring you guys some more content relating to that. I have a really cool video today. I'm going to be unboxing the Logitech G Pro X keyboard and the Super Light 2 that just came out. And I'm super excited to give you guys my first impressions on both versions of the new Logitech G gear. Okay, 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 let me bring the boxes out. I'm so excited for this. Let me put my iPad somewhere because I don't want you guys to like, yeah. There's just, just so much stuff in the way. Um, okay, so here is the Pro X2 Lightspeed. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. Well, we'll see how it really looks in a minute. Here's the box we're accustomed to from the Pro X lineup. This is a 10 keyless lightspeed wireless 2.1 lightspeed adapter dual shot PBT standard layout. Standard layout, that's new. Programmable keys and 1MS report. Right. So this is the keyboard and here's the mouse, the new Super Light 2. Nothing in the packaging has really changed, but we're going to get into what is different between both the old Super Light and the new Super Light. Okay, so I feel like unboxing this one first. You ready? Okay, let's go. As always, the little easy to peel off tabs. Just two more tabs to go. All right, tape's off. You guys get the first look. Oh wait, there's a cover. Oh yes! The keyboard actually comes inside this hard case that you guys can use to, you know, travel to like events and tournaments and all that good stuff. If you do, oh and look, it has a little handle and everything. I'm gonna walk around with it and see how it feels. All right, I'm going to my tournament, okay? All right, let's open it and actually take a look at the keyboard. My headsets are falling off. Cool, there you go. By the way, these headsets are the new Pro X2 headsets that just came out about a month ago. I love them. I've been using them every day. And now we get the full set right here with the keyboard and the super light. This is a super sturdy case, guys. It is not flimsy at all. It's like a little luggage for your Pro X2. We got the little product paper, documents that we never read. And it comes in a soft Logitech logo paper. Oh, you know what? I see the cables inside and a little nook for your USB. Um, look, it's like a little Christmas gift. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Wow. Oh, it has silver. It has a silver, like a metal silver plate behind the buttons. This keyboard is now a standard size keyboard, which means that you guys can now swap all the keys for third party keycaps if you want to. Look how beautiful this is. One of the differences from Pro X1 is that they've added a scroll wheel. It's like a rubberized black scroll wheel. They've also added a beauty center up here as well. And this is your wireless, uh, your light speed, Bluetooth, uh, your gaming button, and your RGB light. Oh, this is really beautiful. The RGB is really, really pretty. So you can change the colors on G Hub as well. And you can change the brightness right here of your keys. So you can save battery. It looks like it's four settings. One, two, three, four, five. Five is off. This is the back of the keyboard with uh, some stands, two settings, two heights. I think it says the numbers in the back, let me see. Four degrees and eight degrees of height. And here's a little nug for your, so you guys can store your USBs. This keyboard is now USB-C as well. So that's different from the old keyboard and this one. So this is the Aurora keyboard next to the new Pro X. Here's the Pro X. So um, I have the League of Legends version. I'm gonna compare it to our new Pro X2 version. This one has a media scroll wheel. This one does not. This one has a media center. This one does not. All right, so on the bottom is the old Pro X. On the top is the Pro X2. 
The keys are raised, as you guys can see. They're raised and you can see the switches on the new one. Here's the two differences on the back. And then let's check them side by side here to see if... Oh yeah. Okay. Wow, this keyboard is beautiful, guys. Oh, I can't wait to take pictures of this. The Pro X 2 is slightly smaller than the new Pro X and it is slimmer. I love that it has a media scroll wheel, us, and a media center. I love the metallic brushed metal um, underneath the keycaps. I think it makes the RGB beautiful when you actually do turn it on. It reflects the light off of it and it makes it even more vibrant. I can't wait to show you guys some pictures of it. It just feels like a premium, like a really sturdy keyboard. And I love that you're not able to put whatever keycaps you want on it. So if you want like a Pikachu or a Kirby keycap, then you can do that now with this one. All right, guys, so let's move on to the Super Light 2 mouse from Logitech. This one I am so excited for because it's already my favorite mouse. So this is the previous version and this is the updated version which we're about to unbox this is my favorite part the mouse looks exactly the same I think that's what everybody's going to be wondering like okay why should I get the Pro X2 instead of the Pro X well they've updated the, the sensor so it's now a Hero 2 sensor let's take it out beautiful as always Look how beautiful this mouse is. I love it. This is like a pure white color. So side by side, both of these mice will look exactly the same. So what they did was they changed it its size. This one has the Hero 2 sensor and is 32,000, up to 32,000 DPI. And it is two, is it two kilohertz? report rate so this one's twice as fast this one's twice as fast as this one also you can change the dpi not just from like 300 to 500 to 800 you can now do 301 302 i don't know who would choose a dpi that low i usually play on 800 but 801 802 if you want to also the hero 2 sensor is super sensitive and they've improved the tracking the precision when it comes to uh, tracking the mouse when you lift it off the mouse pad so while you're playing if you lift your mouse from the from the mouse pad the sensor will actually track really accurately where you're moving your mouse to so that when you're moving it across in the air the mouse will be able to precisely tell where you're placing it on this screen so it has increased increased tracking performance when lifting the mouse from the mouse pad so the switches for the super light 2 are a hybrid of a an optical and a mechanical click or switch they're called light uh light force hybrids i believe light light force light force hybrid switches so you have the speed of an optical switch and also the mechanical feel of a switch. So I'm going to click on both so that you guys can hear the difference between the two if, if there is any. Oh, there's a clear difference between the two. Okay, this is fun. Another thing that they've changed from the Pro X Super Light and Super Light 2 is, I believe, no, this is 95 hours of continuous playtime, and this is 70. So that's 25 or more hours of continuous playtime. I don't know about you, but I forget to charge this thing because it just lasts forever. I feel like it just, it just lasts forever. I feel like the downside of that is that when I'm playing, I forget to charge it, and then I end up like, it just ends up dying on me because I forget to charge it. We all love battery life, right? So 95 hours of battery life versus 70 with the old one. Yay. Win. While also keeping the same weight for both. So I'm going to give you guys a 360 of the super light. Um, we've seen it before because it hasn't really changed too much, but some of you might not have the super light yet. And I really suggest that you guys give this mouse a try. It is my favorite mouse. I've been playing with it for like two years already and I cannot go back. Trust when I tell you that this is the best mouse they have ever made. Trust. Um, well, at least this one. I'm gonna give this one a try and see. If you guys have any questions about any of these or any Logitech gear for that matter, uh, feel free to use the comment box below to ask me questions. I do read all my comments. And also you can go to my Twitch. I'm live Monday through Friday. So just go on my Twitch and ask me questions. I'll literally do demos for you guys on, on stream. I don't care. Um, just ask me anything. I'm happy to help. Um, I do have a 5% off on any Logitech G Gear 
uh, code is Ali. I'll put it in the description in case that helps anybody. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to get to use these and hopefully you guys will get to come by my stream and we'll get to, you know, play together. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing today and my first look at the new Pro X2 lineup. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can find more videos like this in the future. I need to keep uploading more. I promise. I promise I will. It's just so much to do. Uh, okay. Bye, guys.